<gasps> That's enough, okay? I'm going home. You'll regret this tomorrow. It's warm. My hands are usually cold as ice. It's really as warm as his now. Kitami's hand was so big. His large hand covered mine, and where they touched, I felt a sweet warmth. Our fingers intertwined, and our warmth melted together, like the spring sun enveloping the snow. His hand on mine? That's all it was. And yet, through our palms, his warmth found its way to the deepest recesses of my heart. Hey! Hey! Did you read the new Yupina? Love! There was romance! The Count held her hand. This is a new twist! My heart was pounding more over this chapter than any of the others. It's a big hit, Yukina-chan! Yes. <laughs> it was really hard to write about love, but it was worth it. <laughs> but how did you do it? Writing love stories all of a sudden. Oh, well I... Shigure! Good morning, Shigure! Good morning! Good morning, Kitami-kun. Thank you for your help yesterday. Good morning, Himura-san. I'm never going to let you do that ever again. Shigure, let's go! Coming! Scary! Did I just see some sparks in the air between you two? Did you? He's famous. The whole school knows about him. He's the student body president, has the top grades in his year, and his family runs a big hospital. I hear even the teachers will do whatever he wants. I guess there are people like that. A two-faced elite, huh? And a student notebook full of mysteries. Fascinating. I'll get a lot of use out of him. What? You were robbed? Kitami, someone took your student notebook? Huh? Yes, sir. I thought I dropped it. But when I got to school this morning, it was on my desk. Whoever left it there also left a copy of one of the pages. They made a copy of your student notebook? It's a stalker! Yeah! Ew! But I think they copied more than just this one page. So I bet the culprit still has the copies with them. What? Does anyone here have those copies? Eh? They won't get away with it! This is bad. I still have my copies. All right! We're checking everybody's things one at a time. You're trying to make me look like a thief! Is that your game, Kitami? Me neither. I don't have any. I don't either. So, what about... Himuro-san? If you don't have any copies, that's fine. No, I have a copy. Huh? Mm. What? <laughs> I found a copy on my desk too. But I don't know if this belongs to Kitami-kun. So I'll read what's written on it. Homeroom teacher, Onita. Easily manipulated with flattery. Loves to get compliments on his designer suits. What? What? Never mention his bald head or his single status. What is that? 
It's the notebook copy I found on my desk. Unforgivable! Whose is it? I'll have them expelled! Whose indeed? Hey! There's no way that that's from Shigura's notebook. <laughs> that's hilarious! I wonder whose it is, right? Yeah. Ugh. Why can't I control her? Everyone else does exactly what I want them to. It's because you underestimate people. That is your weakness. Thanks for the advice. Okay, maybe I was underestimating you a little. But next time... Before that... It's time to play Romance. What? Again? Kitami, when someone loses at a game, they have to do what the winner says. That's how it works. Mission number two. I order you to hold me in your arms. No. I don't know what you're after. But what's the point of doing this when we both hate each other? It just makes you uncomfortable, right? Not really. I don't think I was uncomfortable. Huh? What? So you don't like me? I don't like you, and it doesn't make my heart skip a beat. But it wasn't uncomfortable. Hmm. Ah! What are you doing? If you're not uncomfortable, then all I can do is get it over with, right? Uh, right. Just, just slow down. What? I would like you to go as slowly as you can. Ugh, you're so demanding. Fine, I'll go slow. Sheesh, what's your problem anyway? Well, I've held hands before, but I've never had anyone hold me before. Kitami, hands warm up together. Do heartbeats speed up together too? The beating of two hearts joined into one. I want to know more. Mission number three. I order you to kiss me. I order you to kiss me. What? Are you serious? Of course I am. Now do it. Eh? Yeah! I'll spare you today. But next time, there will be no getting out of it. Damn it! I have to do something! I have to make her stop! Shigure! What was that? Did something happen? Actually... Yukina-chan! I'm so glad I found you! Where were you? Just doing some research for my novel. Hmm... I was so close to having everything I needed. I held hands and was held in a man's arms. A world I never knew before is spreading out before me. If we had kissed, what kind of world would I have seen then? I'm home! You can chan Welcome back. Hello, father, <coughs> mother. Hello. Oh, 
You're supposed to call us Papa and Mama, Yukina-chan. We're glad to have you, Akira-chan. Papa made dinner tonight. Stay for dinner, Akira. Huh? If you go home, you'll only be alone all night, right? Y yeah. Okay. Here, Papa. Say, ah! Uh. Mmm. Your cooking really is the best in the world. But you, Papa, are the best in the universe. Your parents sure do love each other, Yukina-chan. It's suffocating. I know! Why don't you ask them about love? Huh? Well, they're obviously experts. I see. Father, mother, what does a kiss feel like? <coughs> <coughs> what? What? Papa! Our Yukina-chan wants to k k k kiss What do we do? She's never asked about anything like this before. Yukina-chan, what do you mean, kiss? Oh, nothing. Hmm. It looks like I really won't learn anything. Unless I try it on Kitami tomorrow. A kiss is absolutely essential for a love story. Hmm? What's wrong, Yukina-chan? Oh, I just can't find my slippers. Huh? They're gone? I don't know. I'm going to go check my classroom. Ua! It's the snow woman! Do you think it's true? Some girls say they saw it, but... But the snow woman? Trying to force Katami to kiss her? You serious? The snow woman has a thing for Katami? <laughs> this is... My textbooks... And my PE clothes are gone! Trying to force a boy? That's... Evil. I don't care how much she likes him. I feel so bad for Shikure. Himuro-san, can we talk to you? What do you think you're doing trying to kiss Shikure? You think you can take advantage of him just because he's such a nice guy? <laughs> that should get her to leave me alone. Women are weak against attacks from their own gender. Work hard for me, my female minions. Hey! Are you listening? What are you doing? I'm not afraid of- Shimada-san. You're breaking out. Did you get annoyed at something and eat too much chocolate again? Uh, huh? Sato-san! I've noticed that you're patting your chest a little more every day to enhance your figure. Miki-san, you never wash your little finger. Is that some kind of good luck love charm? Huh? I want Kitami-kun to fall madly in love with me. Is that it? <gasps> what is this? How does she know? I see everything. And I know everything. And I do mean everything. Would you like me to divulge even deeper secrets? <gasps> I... I give up! Hey! That's not fair! No! I'm too scared! It, it didn't even phase her! Doesn't she have any weaknesses? Yukina-chan! So hey... I've been hearing this weird rumor. Oh, and I found your slippers and books in the trash can. Hmm, so now all I'm missing is my PE uniform. Thank you. Were some girls picking a fight with you? Are you okay? Yes, but it's fine. I'm used to it. 
In fact, I almost envy them. Being able to go that far for a boy they like. However, things could get really bad if I don't get my P.E. clothes back. Huh? I have something in them that I would definitely hate to have people see. Hmm. <laughs> to think it would be so easy if I can just find her weakness, she'll be mine. But what was she talking about? Caught in the act, Kitami-kun ransacking girls' PE clothes. Huh? Oh, I'm so glad to have my PE clothes back. And I got a great shot of you. You, you tricked me. Of course I did. You've made me angry, Kitami. You can try to find my weakness if you want. But I cannot tolerate anyone using a girl's love as his plaything. Ha, look who's talking. You're the last person I'd expect to know anything about love or romance. You're right. I don't know anything. That's why I'm trying to find out. We were in the middle of a kiss. I order you to kiss me, Kitami. Fine. I just have to do it, right? You're so close. You expect me to do it from far away? Ugh. Close your eyes. All I could hear was the quiet sound of his breathing and mine. And yet, I could sense him slowly drawing near me. Then his lips touched. Mwah! <gasps> Don't mess with me, boy! Kiss me on the lips! The lips! What? It's still a kiss. Anyway, your glasses got in the way. Ah! Ah! You idiot! Stop that! I said they're in the way. No! Don't touch them! Without my glasses, I... Y your weakness... Is your glasses?